you know, sweeping up wood on a rug is really hard. I, I like to let the puppy bring in a piece of wood for her to chew on, but when I do that little tiny, tiny piece of wood, she, she basically obliterates it. And it's not like I can just go shh, because it's a rug on a rug. So I have to be careful. Uh, so, you know, here I am trying to sweep this up, and what am I doing? I'm looking down, and I'm making a, a little circle, but because I'm making a circle, it keeps spitting out the other side. So I'm, like, slowly shrinking my circle. So what I actually should do is what a woman would do. And I should sweep in one direction, and I'm like, la, 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 maybe without the singing, and, you know, and then she'd, she'd move it. You know, very very precise, very organized. Not that a man is not precise and organized, but there are reasons women do things the way they do. It's very logical. You know, people talk about how emotional women are. But when it comes to cleaning, I gotta tell you, women are pretty logical. They're very, they fold their clothes neatly. Guy will take my shirt, I'll take my clothes off the dryer, I'll put them on the bed. I'll grab my pants, I'll you know, fold them and shh, put them away. My wife will sit there and she'll fold it exactly the same every single time. Not that it's negative, but she will. So if ever I want to pick up my shirt, I have been trained to look for a certain shape. And the shape tells me whether it's long sleeve or short sleeve. Whether it's collared or, you know, or sleeveless. <laughs> it's just funny. What am I doing now? I'm sweeping up the floor. I'm sweeping up the floor. You know what? Why? Because it's my fault. She's gone. You yes. know, I can I can see one of the comments you'll be getting on this video right now. Which is? A woman wouldn't sweep the carpet. She'd run the vacuum. I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> run the vacuum. But you know how econo economical I try to be. The energy I'm expelling. Sweeping is a lot less than costing me than if I would pay for electricity to suck it up. True. Plus, of course, la, la, la. Plus, plus, of course, if I was to do that, I would have to also breathe the micro dust. You know, the, since I'm sweeping down here, I'm kind of keeping the dirt and everything right under my knee level. You know, I'm not you know, sweeping up here, but a vacuum doesn't care. A vacuum just sucks it up. A vacuum has no motion. A vacuum is a machine that has no soul. It is simply designed to suck things up and push them off the bank. There's no, there's no life force in a vacuum. It's, it's completely devoid of energy like a washing machine. You know, our appliances, we've been able to design things that are completely mechanical. It's like a lever, but it's funny because a wooden lever for a well has more energy or soul than a vacuum. Because a vacuum, you're constantly changing parts. The, the energy being supplied to the vacuum gives us life, is artificial, whereas the lever on a well is using your natural energy and potential. Potential energy. There's no potential energy in a vacuum. It doesn't turn on until you plug it in. The wood is always there, using balance. It's funny that I'm talking about an, an innate object as a lever, but I guess if you really think about it, since it's of the earth, since it's wood, and it's using gravity, and if wood has natural cells within it, then a, I guess basically a lever has life force, a wooden lever. Hmm, I guess we'll be sitting in a wooden chair. But see, the wooden chair has been manufactured. It's been run through my system and gyroed and, and, and you know, all these, these hard parts are going to, especially if it's been sliced and then laminated back together. It's, it has some energy, but it's, there's, no, there's no flow. It's not organic. Hmm, just a thought. <laughs>